Yes, 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 yes. Good evening, my ever conscious Edo people. I remain no other person than yours, number right activist, comrade I Bogui Mano. And um, this very evening, I am up to discuss very essential issues. You know, as at the last time when I came up live, uh, while I was still away from uh, town, I just got into the beginning for my journey, I tried to elaborate issues as it affects our social media space. Uh, however, we'll not be going into that today because uh, we'll be doing some sort of research and we realize that despite the fact that we have the majority of informed persons on the social media, we still do not have the force to correct these abnormalities that we all want in our society. Firstly, I, I put up a question earlier hours of the day, you know, after we we had a class of discussion, you know, today, very, you know, uh, uh, enlightening class for discussion today. And I asked, in fact, I had to, uh, I was encouraged to put a 20,000 uh, uh, bounty for anybody who would be able to give us an accurate answer to the question we asked, you know, and to my greatest surprise, despite the fact that we all are on social media, we all have smartphones, we all have the internet. A large number of our society, when I mean a large number, talking about 90% of people on social media, particularly the adult community uh, participant on social media, we do not have the information that talks about the accrued resources to adult people, that inform us more about the resources to adult people. So it was very shocking to most of those people who are finding it very difficult for them to believe when some of us said that the government of those states in, within the last four years copped over 400 billion naira of taxpayers' money, you know, coming from the IGRO, the FEC allocations, and other, you know, international donors and borrowings, as the case may be. And this very afternoon, I placed the bounty and I said, if anybody, if anybody, let me read that question out again for anybody, to, for, for the watchers currently watching to, to, uh, to uh, uh, listen to. I said, giveaway, my giveaway for today, first, my giveaway for today, first winner, 20K. Who can tell me how much a dose did got from fake allocation this November 18th in 20 minutes? I will be reading out some of these uh, response, both the relevant and irrelevant ones as the case may be, so that people might actually see and hear what the, the, the audience on social media, you know, gets informed or no really knows about uh, the activity today activities on the social media that question has been asked over 11 hours ago but till now no single individual has been able to tell me the specific amount that a state got from the fake allocation and we all want a better society it's just like governance or government in any sovereign state is just like a normal association that we all operate without knowing the way the leadership of the association spends the votes of the association that association you know would always face issues particularly with you know distrust misappropriation of uh, resources name it and that is what we are currently being faced with in our today those society where we have government that says they are working for us and the bulk of the money they get does not match or commensurate with the projects on ground and that's where there are issues that's where there are issues but under the government of uh ngozi okonjo uh as the finance minister she did say that on monthly basis publications for allocations 
you know, from FEC to both the state and the local government will be made public. But over a period of time, the reverse has been the case. And as a well-meaning civil society practitioner in the state, some of us will be approaching the relevant authorities to ask questions. But before we proceed, let me quickly read out the comments. One, Iye uh, Koyo uh, uh, said 81 million. Enobe Chinso said, Enobe Chinso said, I will go, go to come to PDP, go back to where you belong before. Emmanuel Sai Bogun, uh, this guy's name is uh, it's written in sort of uh, signs. He said, Emmanuel Sai Bogun, you are a poor man trying to manage, keep your 20K. The 20 is not even up to $60. Now, Olosho money you get, go use the 20K. Uh, I don't want to use that vocal word. Olosho for Luku. He said, Emmanuel S. Bogun, uh, Morgan Erwin said, this said, Emmanuel S. Bogun, please, with proof, unveil it to us how much did Edo State government derive from FEC in Edo State, since you are in the best position to tell us. Uh, the other guy just read his post again, did come out to say, you need attention, that is the reason you make this post. Uh, state government received a total of uh, 107 billion. Uh, 84.296 billion. That's another post. Max CP Mafidon, uh, sorry, another comment. Max CP Mafidon said 60, uh, 604 billion. Uh, then uh, Isosa somewhere was just laughing. Max CP said 3.0. One five billion. Maxi PD said, uh, Imafidon, this said, uh, one point two nine trillion. Citizen, you have said, Wake up after November. Emmanuel Amaso Sifo, you know they sleep because of government allocation. Now, wow, evil genius, just try and contest to get there. Um, Imam Egbis, Egbis, this said that uh, 30.9 billion. You, ha you don't have money to give. Uh, this is a busty scot. Uh, asking questions no one can answer, except people that are in charge, which you can get the answer from them. Ask questions like who lost the last governorship elections in those states. Fact shared 547 billion. Emmanuel, this is what you are eyeing all the time. The money belongs to a state government. What is your problem? Do you ask the same question during Oshomole? Go and look for work. It's only lazy people is acting this way. Now, what for you? You know, then uh, is that the answer to the question? Someone replied that uh, question. You know, another person said that Governor Stephen JP said the uh, 400 million. Godwin E. said uh, 604 billion. Uh, 58.085 billion. Uh, you are calling man November. So that was how the question, you know, there was no direct answer, not until when we got to this uh, very young man who was very specific within the 20 minutes although he did not got the exact uh, uh, amount that you know was mentioned but he was you know sort of speculating and within that 20 minutes we felt uh, since this guy was close to it let us give him a consolation uh, prize now listen to what he had to say he said around his name is a uh, patrick Free bond. He said around four to three billion naira. And I quickly replied to him, I said, very close. Send me your phone number and account details for 3K consolation price. He said, 
Emmanuel S. I. Bogun. Okay, thanks. I just sent a DM, a direct message to my inbox. Now, why am I reading these uh, comments on my platform? Is to let you know that people distrust what they ought to know to know, you know, to be able to inform their decision to scale the performance of government. Now, when you spend so much time telling people the rot when they don't know what ought to be, you know, uh, the, 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 will I call it uh, the value or the cost of government, you know, within the given period of time when government must have, uh, you know, uh, carried out its activities, it amounts, you know, to high level of, uh, will I call it misinformation and, you know, gullible uh, messages that people would listen to. Now, let me tell you, very many of the people telling you government is working, government is working, will never tell you that government has earned this volume. Therefore, they have been able to manage this volume. And with what they are managing, they are going to do X, Y, Z. Now, before we proceed, and I, I will leave you with my message for tonight, I want to quickly place a call across to Patrick Freeborn. So if you're watching me, visit the post on my wall. You will also see what I'm talking about. So here is, uh, we're placing a call across to Patrick Freeborn at the moment. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's on the line now. Hello, Mr. Patrick. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Patrick. Yeah, good evening. Yes, um, you are live on Facebook with me, and um, I don't know if you're watching, but uh, I do people are actually listening to you across the globe at the moment. I just want to okay. find out from you. How did you get that information? How were you close to that information? I want you to share it with the audience that are listening to you. Okay. Okay, when I, noise, noise, when I was going through your, your, your page and I saw something like that, it is very easy, being a, being a student and a public administration student like that, I'm always calling with thoughts like that, and I know that mostly the states do get allocation from this Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, the FEEC, which normally disburse money for, for the three tiers of government monthly. So the federal the federal government do at least get up to forty percent, while other states get think thirty one percent of the total money disbursed. Why the the sometimes the uh, state government do get around five to six billion monthly because they are part of the oil producing area, which also they get about four point five percent of the total money disbursed. So I'm always current. But just at this month of November, I actually did not know the actual amount that came into a duty. But for the previous month, I, I always do follow it. Okay. okay. So that's how I, I know about it. Okay. Then uh, before you before you leave, I just want to ask you a very quick quick question. Do you do you okay. do you also get information on uh, the IGR or the internally generated revenue of the state? Um, but I can't really say, but I can't really say much about that. Uh. Okay, no, I'm just asking, I'm just asking, do you, you know, from the same platform where you get to know about uh, fake disbursement to the state, do you, do you actually uh, get information about uh, IGRO that the state has generated internally? No, 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 not really. All right, all right. But uh, have you ever bothered to make research as a public administrative uh, administrative student? Is yes, that? I said, have you ever bothered yourself to make a research as a public yeah. administrative student? Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. So, like, just uh, a quick, quick one. Let me be sure that uh, uh, we're we're on the same page. Uh, uh, on your last count, how much did you realize that the state government uh, realize on monthly or annual basis? How, how much do you, can you help us with 
the information? Uh, when I can actually give that information because I, I can't really tell the last time I checked, but I, I don't want to give some, some rough figures. Okay. Okay, maybe on, on other occasions, so I would like to check up so that I won't, I won't be making mistakes. You know, public, when you say something, they just feel like, okay, it's like this, without even knowing, so I need to be sure of that, okay? All right, all right. So it's a pleasure having you uh, on our broadcast today. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, say thank you for bothering yourself about information that, uh, you know, all to form the basis of governance and uh, the strength of governance in the state. So it's a pleasure having uh, you and we appreciate your time and your your brilliant uh, 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 understanding of governance uh, uh, financial strength in the state. So thank you very much and uh, we say thank you. Uh, thank you very much for having me. All right, you're welcome. Hope you, hope you got your consolation prize. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. I, was not, I wasn't really expecting that, but thank you. I, I got mine. All right, you're welcome. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Uh, all right. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, we've been talking to uh, Mr. Patrick Freebone, and part of the reason why we're talking to him is because, you know, from everybody who replied to the question we raised on our post today on my, on my wall, he was just the only person who could actually uh, uh, be specific of what uh, the issues are. And there are two things uh, that, you know, is going to happen tonight. And that's why I'm um, live, you know, is that we're going to have the last November, last day of uh, of November uh, tonight, and we're going to have the first day of December 2020 uh, while on this broadcast. Now, uh, the reason why I choose to talk at this time is because I want to start saving my followers. Because I would really want people that understand what my intentions are on the media to actually be the ones to follow me. Uh, what part of the reasons why I'm saying this is because you cannot build an audience because you want to have crowd and the crowd does not really understand why you're building the audience. I, I try not to want to be a secular presenter just like the way issues are currently as we can see it, you know blazing the social media space in you know in our day-to-day -day activities within the Edo social media community. I want to try to ensure that people that follow me really understand the reasons why we talk to ourselves on the media. Basically getting themselves in, informed about the cost of governance. Because it's very funny that somebody who is in government who has won elections, who actually uh, uh, won elections, you know, on the mandate that he or she wants to improve the living standard of our people. And after a period of four years, there's nothing but, you know, total uh, uh, hopelessness in the fate of, of, of what the person has, you know, turned out to be, make, to be a policy or, or however, or an administrative uh, program or a uh, 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 calling program, you know, that the person or the group of political associates in government must have, you know, in trust over a period of time. So, basically, you cannot be talking to an Edo community where people who ought to know about the statistics of what comes into the state are not really bothered about it. And they want the society to move from point A to point B. Very many persons never knew the importance of the statement some of us did ask uh, the governor, God in Basaki. And for the first time I'll be saying this, part of the reasons why some of us do not agree with the government of the day is solely because the government of the day started on the basis of saying they want to do things different. But when it comes to accountability, when it comes to transparency, when it comes to prudent management, of public resources, which is the only panacea for doing things differently, 
they try not to double into it. And that is where we have always had issues as a people. And if you follow the advent of my advocacy on social media from 2007, when we started doing live videos about happenings in the States, you will agree with me that I've always asked one question. How much does it cost the government to operate in a day? What is the running cost of government in a day? And what sums it up you know, in every uh, 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 month? What is the cost of running the government in every month? Now, if we as a people, we do not pay attention to these things, the state will never be prudent enough you know, to operate and function as a state that will service the aims and aspirations of a do people. We all belong to one form of association or the other. And for the past uh, 11 hours, I have been busy to, you know, trying to see how I can, you know, come up with a statement of how monies belonging to my association was expended and what we used it for and what we've been able to achieve and what we have left in our, in our coffers, in our savings and the way forward. Now, while doing this, I did it and I posted on our WhatsApp platform, a whole lot of members in the platform took time to reply to say, no, they are not okay with this, they are not okay with that, they need further explanation. So I had to call on our secretary, financial uh, FinSec, to uh, financial secretary to come down and you know break down the questions that were raised by members in the association. But something now shocked me that why all of these things are happening. The people that are ought to be you know the stakeholder in government they don't really bother about how much comes into the state a month, how much they get. It is not just the state that gets money on a monthly basis. The local government, some local governments in the do state get as much as 150 million, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million, thereabout, in a month. Outside the monies accrued to the state as a tier of government. So, not until when we understand that we must recognize these issues. We are not going anywhere. The book does not stop on the table of just the governor. You have a local government, you have councillors, you have, uh, 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 name it, what have you. All these issues are on the burner. All these government offices are recognized by law. But how come the monies they get you know, we are not being given the room to discuss extensively <laughs> on how these monies have been expended. Even while you hear uh, the various legislative arm of government attached to these chairs of government, the state government, the local government, you still do not hear them give you a breakdown of, you know, the running cost of their government either in a month or in a week. The only thing we hear each time it's been done is that a politician has stolen 10 billion, 15 billion, 12 billion. Now, the reason for that is that people that own that money basically do not have interest on how the money is being spent. In fact, they spend less time to, you know, even pick interest to know how much is accrued to the government. So when you put somebody in charge of a, a you know, a resources that is not properly monitored, a resources that is not, you know, prudently managed. What do you expect? You should expect high level of high-handedness, looting, stealing, diversion, substandard projects to pervert monies and the rest. So this is where the issues lie. So for the best that we can do over a period of time is that we will begin to elaborate these issues. I really will not want to find myself discussing matters that will not be of relevance to moving the whole state forward. So that is why some of us have said, from the moment Governor Gordon Nogegas of Baseki receives the first allocation, 
he would have in government for, his, for the next four years if uh, uh, the law permits him. Edo people would begin to know how much is accrued to the state on a monthly basis from the federal location. If there are external borrowers who also, you know, make proper investigations, you know, to that effect. Why am I saying this? Is that in 2016, no, in 2018, I took pains to write to the uh, uh, Accountant General and uh, and the Auditor General of Edo State to tell us how much is accrued to Edo State within the democratic dispensation of 1999 to 2018. Guess what was my response? My response is that, my response was that, that I got from government was that uh, if I intend to know about the monies accrued to the state, I should go to the internet. In fact, I'm going to put that uh, later up tomorrow so that people can also read it. Now, when somebody does not give you the needed desire or the needed response to public money, then you should know something is fishy ordinarily. Why do we spend more time going after the criminal who have stolen, rather than spend more time preventing and informing the public on why and how much we have gotten and why the money should not be stolen? It pains some of us when we go around the state to see how projects are initiated, contractors are mobilized to site from these same accrued resources, and at the end of the day, we do not get value for money. If every word in a do state, we have 192 word, big interest in knowing how much, you know, they would benefit from a monthly allocation that is accrued to a do state, I bet you, political office will not be as interesting as the way it is today in a do state. Now, these are the obvious issues. These are the obvious issues. And if we can actually make these issues our day-to-day -day discussion, Edo people will be properly informed. We will be informed to the extent that we will have to know the right questions to ask. Because whether you like it or not, the government or the governor is accrued, uh, is, uh, is, 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 is by law given the right to get a security vote that he should not explain to anybody what the money is being used for. Same with the deputy, same with local government chairman, as the case may be. Now, if these people still got the security votes, they are not okay with it, they still go into the money that is meant for the collective interest of the people. Over the years, we are talking about a democracy that has been operating for the past 20 years, and the people are still not willing to pick interest in knowing how this revenue accrued to the state is expended. Do not forget, the House of Assembly has a right of oversight. Now, today, will you agree with me that when you have 9 against 14, you, would you say that the House of Assembly is doing that which is expected of them? The answer is no. So, we as the people, the power is, is you know, from which government operates is being derived from we the people. Not until when we begin to narrow these investigations and this job and project uh, analysis and financial uh, 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 resources, you know, and, and prudent understanding of how it operates, be it consolidated, be it a money disbursed for salaries and what have you, we will not get it right. We will not get it right as a people. So this is the advocacy some of us would want to push further. And why we have chosen this time to elaborate it is that we are talking at a time when we'll be having the last November in 20, the last day of November in 2020, stroke the first day of December in 2021. Sorry, in 2020. So what do we really want as a people? If you really want to pick interest in doing this, I cannot do it here alone. I am not saying give me money. Let us share some high level of intellectual property across board. Because if you know how much the governor is going to you know, get every month, it's going to go down well to tell you what the government will be spending that money for and we focus on ensuring that the money you know, gets value 
for projects that will be initiated on ground. I will leave by saying these issues. Do you know, do you know that a do state government since 1999 to date have gulped over 1.7 trillion naira? I mean, 1.7 trillion naira. If you go to look at what people like uh, the governor of uh, Kenya is doing, uh, uh, the president of Kenya is doing, this money we are talking about is accrued to a do state for you know nearly half of into nearly half of what the government of Kenya has used within the past few years to turn around majority of the mega cities that is evolving today. So why do we waste more time talking about saga? talking about issue when we would be a part of a society that will you know last for the next hundred years when we would spend above half of that society uh, half of that years as active participants in the society why keep quiet and allow ignorance and allow hatred and allow backbiting dissuade us and political affiliations dissuade us from the real issues as of today, we are the heartbeat of Nigeria. If we can get it right to this extent, I tell you other states will follow suit. The business of ending corruption in Nigeria is just a tip on the iceberg, if really stakeholders pick interest in doing it. If a government can tell us to go to social media and know how much is accrued to the state on a monthly basis, why is it that we cannot find the exact amount of what is accrued to a state on a monthly basis on the social media? I put it to you, my do people. The moment you leave this broadcast, take your time, visit all platforms on Google, and check to know if you will see the sum of what got to a do state and the entire 18 local governments on the social media, Google or Wikipedia, name it, platforms. So the real issues still exist. But what we are concerned about is resolving these real issues. Resolving these real issues. I am Emmanuel Bogun. I have supported various of political parties in Edo State, but the needed desire I would want have not been attained. So for us to attain that desire, we must have a government that the people understand the value of the government. And there's no government that would have value that you will not talk of the resources that is accrued to it. This is where I would want to leave this issue of allocation. Because the basis for politicians to campaign, to promise us, still falls under this allocation. So let us all come up together, put heads together, and ensure that even the market woman in the do state knows how much comes into the state. Even the taxi driver that pays money knows how much comes into the state. Now, let me tell you the big markets that have hitted Edo State, particularly Edo South, within the last four months, particularly the last two months. You now have the C of O market. People do C of O's on daily basis. That is to say, people contribute more money that runs into millions of naira on daily basis. Smart, a nice way to procure, protect your property, but very well, government is generating revenue from it. Now, if you spend over 200,000 naira doing your tax clearance, doing your uh, 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 acquisition of uh, C of old forms and the rest, and survey and the rest, and at the end of the day, government makes as much as 300 to 400,000 from you. And you do not get value from that money from a government you have invested in because your right to get a certificate of occupancy is your right legally. But the monies accrued to government is the money that should be spent, you know, to enhance the living standard of our people. Now, if you pay more monies into the C of O market, and at the end of the day, the C of O market does not give you value that will enhance the, 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 the value of your property does not give you value that will create better roads, better electricity, better security, better healthcare. Do you think you are really doing the right thing? 
So let's not allow the CFO market become another money bank for politicians. That is the reasons why we are conscientizing ourselves. Everybody cannot be thinking in one direction. The ability for we to do things differently, do it differently over and over again, makes us stand tall. And that is the ideology. Because the likes of Ziegler have said, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting another form of answer is another form of madness. Edo people, are we in this madness of ignorance together? Would we want to break through from it? The social media is here. We can actually discuss with ourselves every now and then and know the results and know the real issues. We'll be putting up a whole lot of presentations and discussions and symposium as regards this issue so that people will get informed. Let me tell you, are you aware that the poor citizens pay more tax than the rich in Edo State? The statistics are there. An average taxi driver, a bus driver, is made to pay a minimum of a thousand naira on daily basis. Multiply that times 365 days in a year. At most, 300 days, because maybe for maintenance costs or the rest, the driver will not be on the road. But the truth to ask, how many big men, how many rich men, rich people in those states, pay a personal income tax? in those states to the tune of 300,000 Naira per year? The answer is no. I recently went for, uh, what was it called, uh, 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 evaluation for tax clearance. And I did very many in recent times. And I can tell you how much the state government has got from people who solely direct contacted me to help them facilitate their sea of O's. So you look into it. It is not just getting security for your property. What about the security for everybody and the society where your property lies? Would we fold our hands and look at it wallow and become another pride for politicians to become richer and their family become richer for generations and generations unborn? The answer is no. So if you want to be in this quest together, we are now on the first day of December 2020. Let us reason alike. Let us talk to ourselves in a different manner. Let us see ourselves as stakeholders. It is not me, it is not you, it is us that will win. So these are the issues. These are the issues. Because you see government year in, year out, have a recurrent expenditure that satisfies their statutory allocations, allowances and the rest. But what gets to the ordinary man that owns the money that forms the recurrent expenditure that they get? does not meet, in fact, most times, 20% or 15% or 30% of what the gross of our, of our resources is. This calls for a high level of scrutiny, and that is what we want to do with our advocacy voices this time around. So if you are just joining me, you're welcome to the last month in the last uh, month of... Uh, of uh, 2020, I want to wish you a happy Christmas in advance and also want to use this medium to ask each and every one of you who will listen and come across this video to ask yourself, are we ready for this desired change? Can we all be partners in progress? Can we all stand tall to make sure our society is taller? Once again, I remain no other person than yours, noble right activist. So because of the nature of discussion, I will throw my lines open for just uh, a minimum of uh, 10 seconds. Sorry, for just a minimum of, uh, of uh, 10 minutes. So I'm going to post the number here now. I'm going to pin it. And I'll read it out twice so we can uh, 0813792802 so I you just have it on my wall now and I'm also just pinning it at the moment so you can see it there now the number has been pinned so if you feel you have something to contribute briefly just call in for the purpose of carrying those who have listened along and uh, we call it issue for today. Thank you.
So while we're waiting, it's uh, it's nice for you to know that tonight two things must happen. November must end and December must begin. So shall your problems end and your glorious future begin. Let our glorious future begin. So let's wait for the first caller who will call in before we call it a day. Remember, I am your noble right activist, comrade I. Bogun Emmanuel. We are still waiting for the first caller. So that is it. So these are the real issues we are discussing. Uh, while we are waiting for any call, let me uh, take time to wish uh, my fans uh, who are out here? I can see Omo of Yokodi. See, tell us first what Kabaka and Oshomoli did with that money for years. Uh, I think we should not be partisan here. Uh, it's just that very many persons do not know me. That's just the issue. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be saying what you're saying. Uh, because if there's one person who have really criticized Oshomoli in this state, I, Emmanuel Bogun is, and uh, if there's anybody who have fought Pastor Saigizi, I'm in fact even criticizing more in these days, I, I Emmanuel Bogun is here. The same thing that happens to do with Obaseki, of course everybody knows due to the availability of social media what this uh, 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 advocacy of ours has been within the last three and a half years. So if you are listening to me, uh, we are talking about a do politics, a do economy, a do governance, a do future. That is what we are discussing. So once again, uh, it's obvious nobody is calling in. Uh, haven't sat down to wish everybody a merry Xmas in advance. Please, I would want to leave this discussion. Uh, before leaving, do remember I am Emmanuel X. I. Bogun, and it's uh, our issues, our problems, our plight that we are looking for solutions together. So if you are willing to take a ride with these very informative projects to inform Edo people so that you don't need a presenter to tell you how much got into Edo State and how the money is being used. All you need to do is to join hands in asking the government. That is it. So for those of you who have been here, I want to say thank you. Uh, I see uh, Prince uh, Emerson, I see Unruly SW, SDW, I see Binta Egariva, I see Susan Osas, I see Kenny Poli, I see Julius E. Raymond, uh, I see Osas, Edei, I see Efe Mavis, I see Joy Desire, Omoja, Omojola, uh, I see uh, Osas, Eddie, I see Bright Ima, I see BK Windada. Uh, I see Dan, Danny Ben, I see Belo Lucky, I see Austin, Aigbangbe, I see uh, Aigbe, Amanze, Chris, Emafido, I see Judas E. Raymond, I see Comrade, Osai Bovo, Elio, I see uh, Sami, Samo Prince Joe, I see uh, Lovet, I see Shaw Boy, Uzi, uh, you're here. I see each and every one of you. So it's a pleasure having you guys here. And um, I think 
for this brief introduction, we are just 59 persons, and I think these 59 persons would agree with me that we had a very informative segment tonight. So if you're just joining me, I would love you to share this broadcast, take your time to read and like. But if you're with me live now, I want you to place your hands on the share button. We're just 55 at the moment. So if you can actually place your hands on the share button, it will go a long way to help. So place your hands on the share button. If you believe that what you have heard today is very informative and is something you believe would go a long way to assist the, 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 the intellectual properties of our people, please place your hands on the share button. Ifei Nusakari, I see you. Osazua. Eguavon, I see you. So if you are just joining us, please share the broadcast. Share the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. So, I haven't said this. I want to beg. You take my leave. It's already uh, 10 minutes past 12. And it's sleeping time here in Nigeria. So, do remember... Tomorrow, next tomorrow, is another episode for real-time discussion on what the issues are at the moment. Once again, I remain comrade I Bogu Emmanuel. Join me same time, or tomorrow, not same time, but join me tomorrow. Do have a wonderful and lovely night and stay blessed. Thank you.